Hi guys, it's Vicki. I'm back again. Um, just trying to do a little something. You know, you can only sit around for so long. Again, I, I hate to sound like a broken record, but again, can I just really, really, from the bottom of my heart, which is better to thank someone with the bottom of your heart or the center? Oh well the center of the bottom. I just want to thank you guys for leaving such nice comments, wishing me well, supporting me, and the private messages, and for you girls that, you know, we've went to another level, and we're not just friendly, we're friends. Gosh, I'm glad I have you guys. I really am, and you probably know who you are. Okay, so when I've not been feeling so well in the past month, and if my husband asks, what I'm going to say is when that brown recluse spider bit me, that the poison must have went right to my mind, and I shopped. Yeah, I, I, I don't even remember buying this stuff. Wink, wink. I guess my soul just took over and did what it does best, and I shopped. Yeah, I did a little retail therapy uh, in the past couple of weeks. You know, my back hurts, and my shoulders hurt, and my head aches, but my fingers are fine. So I got my little fingers right on the computer and placed an order with a cherry on top and HSN. So let's do one at a time. I'm going to share this, this haul from a cherry on top, okay? And, you know, well, here goes another story. I I'm sorry for those of you who don't like long videos. Uh... A cherry on top, I've been shopping with them for probably a good, solid two to three years. They are consistently fast shippers. I, I don't care what's going on. Black Friday, Silver Saturday, they always ship quickly. I don't think I've ever waited more than five to seven days. And usually... It's about a three to five day turnaround time. They have good prices. If you get on their newsletter, they'll send you um, special codes and stuff. And sometimes you can use like the 20% off code and still get a shipping discount. So I really, I think the only thing bad about a cherry on top is that... What was it? I already forgot. I guess it can't be that. Oh, they don't always have the hottest, newest products that I like as quick as two peas. But that's okay. You know, Rashida and I was talking about this, and we both agree. We order stuff. We want it delivered as quick as we push the enter button on our computers. But then we get it, and we don't use it for two years. You know what I mean? So, I, I'm trying to take a chill pill with the whole rush, rush shipping thing. I still like fast shipping, but I try not to go overboard with anxiety if my stuff's not delivered 14 hours after I ordered it. So, anyway, they do have good shipping. It's just, you know, like I said, not always the newest, hottest products. They're not first in line to get it. But I do have to say, they are getting much, much, much better. Let's go to the haul. Now, I, of course, had to get the new Matt. Oh, darn glare. I had to get this new Maggie Holmes clips and bows. Look how cute that is. Look at these. What's that called? Like a milk glass thing? And look at this. Can you see that? It's like the fuzzy hearts. Can you see that clearly? These are beautiful. I'm not loving Maggie Holmes Flea Market. 
and I hate that because I loved the first Maggie Holmes, and Maggie Holmes is crepe paper, for those of you who don't know that. I was loving that first Maggie Holmes so much, and I guess I'm a little disappointed in the second collection. Something else I'm disappointed in, when I saw that they had the new Ellie's Studio Christmas collection, I was disappointed with that too, because Ellie's Studio did such a great collection last time. I forget the name of it, but, well, there was a couple of collections I liked, especially that one paper. It had white background, a grid design, and then on the right and left side, vertical side, it had like rainbow dots. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Anyway, I really like the Ellie's collections of the past. I'm not crazy about their Christmas collection. So, anyway, I still found things to buy. Let's move on. I also got these bows. Even though I do a lot of boy layouts, every now and then I'll find a reason to use a bow. Look at there. So pretty. Look at this pink and black one. Okay. I got this um, washi tape. It's by Doodlebug. And it just repeats itself like that. There's what it looks like. Doodlebug washi tape. It's the Merry Christmas tape. And yes, I've already been buying Christmas stuff. I actually got a couple of other orders uh, in the past couple of months that I didn't do a video on, so uh, maybe I'll do a video and share some of the Christmas papers that I picked up. I've not seen anybody do videos on them, so I I'm already in the mood. For me, it was such a bad summer uh, as far as health, and it was kind of chilly in Ohio, so because of some of my health chronic pain issues, I cannot swim or get in water that is under like 80 degrees. And I was in the pool about three times this year because if I get in cold water, it actually causes my muscles to be really sore and seize up. So I had a stinky uh, summer. So I guess I'm kind of rushing the Christmas season because that's the only thing I like about winter. Okay, so this is from Prima, and this is their wood embellishments. There's 36 pieces in here. And this says love, if you can see there. I, I picked up these uh, fancy pants, Christmas ephemera pack. I will come back and do a video, and I'll lay these all out so you can see them, okay? So stop back. As long as I feel well, I'll do that video today and get it up today or tomorrow for you. I know some of you really like that. And I'll tell you, when somebody opens a package or does that with their haul items, I really appreciate it. I could just spit when someone is like, oh, look, I got this 6 by 6 pack, but I'm not going to open it because it's taped closed. I could die. I'm like, open the paper. I want to see it. And I'm going to gripe and groan for a minute. If you're going to do a haul video where you're sharing your products, oh, don't you want to show the things? I don't need somebody to show every item for 14 to 18 seconds or something. But it is nice for them to flip through a paper pack or if they have things that you can't see in the package, take them out. Especially like two peas in a bucket. They do the five under five. Can't they take the ephemera out of the pack? I mean, can they take a loss on just one pack of ephemera? to show us what it looks like. I'm just saying. And this is the 6x6 uh, Crafters Workshop template. And sorry about that glare, guys. Um, what is this called? Aspen Trees. I thought that would be really pretty for Christmas stuff. 
I got this. It's clear scraps. I've not seen them do stencils. Now that means nothing. They could have been the longest running business to do mask and stencils and I wouldn't know but to me this looked like a pretty new brand and uh, it was a little bit cheaper I noticed than Studio Calico and it's called Circles. That's a good name. And you'll see this is about the size of a quarter and this is a between a then a dime and here's a nickel. Well you can't even see. Quarter, nickel, dime. And it's a six by six. Oh, this is such an old standby for me. The mini market gray and cream by October afternoon. It says gray and cream, but it's really white. It I think this camera is showing true color. If you're just starting to do scrapbooks or cards and you would have any need for alphabet stickers, you can't go wrong with this October afternoon mini markets. Look at all the A's, all the B's and C's. This, love it, love it. I picked up these stickers by Pebbles, and I think this is the 31 line. Hang on. Uh... Yeah, it doesn't say on here, but I'm pretty sure this is their 31 line, and it's pebbles. How cute. Little, ooh, don't you hate, I hate rats. And look at this, Boo Street, look. Boo Street is very metallic. Look, you can see the camera in it, it's so shiny. More rats. Little pumpkins, clouds. Very cute. And it's on both sides. So you get two sticker sheets. The witching hour. Nice big tree. Another kitty cat. There you go. Very nice. I think this was like under $2.99. I picked up these Pebbles stickers, and I think this is called Front Porch. I thought this would be cute for some of my outside pictures. I like the rocker chair. And guess what? There's a flip side. Look at that right there in the corner. Those like uh, daisies in an old tin can. flowers and a coffee can. Well, an old coffee can. Now they put coffee in plastic, but when I was younger, it came in a metal can. And you used to have to use a can opener. You know, of course, I guess. To, you knew that. To open it, and when you would pop that can top on that can of coffee, oh, the aroma was heavenly. I miss that. I got some uh, gray corrugated paper, kind of boring, but I think it was like 99 cents. Now, I'm going to tell you, it's kind of bent here at the bottom. I'm not crazy about that, but, uh, you know, I'll live with it. This is Bella Boulevard Pajama Day, and it's from the Snapshots collection, which I really liked. I think this is like my third piece of this. And that's the flip side. Bella Boulevard Play Park or Park Play this is called. And this is from Play Date. 
and I actually like both sides of this. I love clouds. Look, Shauna, clouds, honey, clouds. This is a really old paper, but it's also fancy pants from The Good Life. And there's one side of it, which is kind of cute, but here's the side I bought it for. I love this old peeled paint, crackly looking for backgrounds. And that's The Good Life by Fancy Pants. Here's another from The Good Life. Which side did I get it for? Oh, I never bought this before, so I picked up this side, and I don't like it as well as I did the other, but I'll use it. This is also from the Snapshots Collection, Bella Boulevard. Kind of cute, huh? It looks doodly, but that's not the side I bought it for. Of the little house. Okay. Yeah, here's the side I got it for. But who knows? I buy a paper for one side because I love, love, love that side. But then, you know, when I go to do a layout, the flip side is facing up, and I look at it and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's perfect for my layout. I mean, I wish I could afford to just, if I like a paper, buy two sheets just in case but I can't do that I got to cut back somewhere so this is from the flea market collection and this is called open air and it's a nice ledger but here's the side I bought it for this is even more beautiful in person it's the ombre look, and uh, just gorgeous. And I think I got three pieces of this, but I like the front and the back. And that's crepe paper, flea market. Here's another flea market. I love navy blue. I feel like they don't make enough papers that are navy blue, so I grabbed two of these. And this is called, hang on, let me show you the cutouts here. That's called Tag Sale. Flea Market called Treasure. And this is very, mm, well, gosh, it's gray, but it almost looks like these diagonal stripes are uh, on a wood maybe in the background and I think that's navy blue hang on it's either a very dark navy blue or black and look at the edges splattered with a little red paint and it really really looks like it is splattered cool I'm glad I got two of those. Oh, and here's probably why I bought this, is this side. But now that I have it, I like that other side, too. Look at the edges. This is so much prettier in person. And again, that's called treasure. I mean, who doesn't like wood paper, right? You can never have enough in my book, especially if you do a lot of boy and men layouts. This is Flea Market. It's called Antique. And the flip side's not bad either. Flea Market. Gray. I love gray and pink together. I love gray and yellow together. But for some reason, when I go looking for gray paper, I never have any. So, that's probably why I bought this. Yeah, this is pretty, but um, not the reason I bought it. This kind of reminds me of Anna Griffin. I hope to do some Halloween layouts soon, even though it's not been Halloween for 2013. Once I get into the Halloween mood, I'll pull out Halloween pictures from the past and do them. 
and this is called Spooky Town. Trick or Treat Collection by Bella Boulevard. Boy, you know, Bella Boulevard has been doing some cute collections this year. And there's the flip side. Not bad. Real pretty turquoise with teal dots. This is called Pick a Pumpkin. And every year we go to the pumpkin festival that's about five minutes from our house. And we take a bunch of pictures, so this will be perfect, I hope. Oh, this is cute. This is called Happy Owl Ween. It's still the Trick or Treat Collection by Bella Boulevard. And my friend Sandra, hi Sandra, she just sent me a owl, or would that be an owl? She just sent me an owl, yeah, on a clothespin. And there's the, oh, this is cute too. This is the flip side. This is Bella Boulevard's Christmas collection. It's Christmas countdown. And this is, oh, Tannenbaum. Oh, Tannenbaum, oh, Tannenbaum. Oh, do, 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 do. I don't know the other words. This is cute. This is cute. This is the Christmas Countdown, Bella Boulevard. I know some of you don't like the kitty layout or kitty collections um, or the whimsy, but I do because sometimes even the adults in my family act silly and these colors and papers will work. This is called Borders. Woo! That's loud. But it's pretty. I like it. This is called City Sidewalks. I bought this paper before. And I think... Yeah, hang on. It's so cute. I used this side of it, so I had to get another one. And that's Christmas Countdown Collection, guys. This is from the Snapshot Collection, Bella Boulevard. This is called Free Time. Shauna. More clouds. And I like this side, too. I, this is my second time buying this piece of paper. This is the Simple Stories Say Cheese line. It just kind of repeats itself all the way up. And that's the flip side. Can you see that it looks like there's newspaper underneath there? This is... Who is this? Oh, Fancy Pants. And it's called Collecting Moments. This is called Rosewood. I like that up there. That's, that's the top side. And this is the background. I'm not so crazy about that, but it'll probably look good with this. This is collect, Collecting Moments. Once again, Fancy Pants. And it's just a bunch of clocks all the way up. They all read 10-10. Hmm. And that's the flip side. I thought this was a nice diagonal and a nice color for Christmas and to pair up with gold. So I bought two pieces. Chamel Lane, she always uses um, diagonal or striped paper as background for her layout. So I've been trying to do that a little more often. This is the same collection, Collecting Moments. And I got it for that side. I do like some peach now. Let me tell you. But you never find it very often. And needless to say, my boys do not wear anything even remotely uh, in the shade of peach. Trust me. But maybe I will. And I bought this. Collecting Moments. This is called Hallmark. It's okay. It's very naughty wood. Naughty.
pay it, pay it, pay it. <laughs> naughty, I should have said. Naughty wood, not naughty. Although, hey, wouldn't it be cute to do like a Christmas layout on here that would say, have you been naughty or nice, right? I'm very sharp. This is black corrugated paper, but it has lines in it. Weird. You can see them, huh? White corrugated paper. I think it was on sale for 99 cents. This is the Pebbles 31 collection. More pumpkins. And this is called Pumpkin Patch. And here's the flip. I love gingham, but I why don't I use it more often? I always buy it. I just don't use it. Then this is 31, and this is called Spooky Story. And it says on here, Still she sat, and still she reeled, and still she wished for company. In came a pair of thin, 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 and on the thick, thick knees. And still she sat, and still she uh, I guess it's a scary story. Flip side. 31 collection. This is called Spider Webs. And that's probably why. Pebbles, 31. Batty. And that's the flip side. Someone on YouTube loves stars, and I can't remember who it is. This is 31. This is called Eerie. And that's the flip side. Look at the little border. Cute. Polka dots. This is called Witching Hour. We're still in the Pebbles collection. Oh, and look, this was cute. Look at the top of it. Like a ledger or invoice. Yeah, that'd be cute. This is the second time I bought this sheet of paper because it was so darn cute once I got it home. It's a doodlebug design, day to day. And this is called what? You and me. Even this side is really cute. I didn't expect this side to be cute, so when I bought just one piece before, I bought it for the flip side. And then when I got it home, you know, this was so adorable, I had to buy another. Oh, I'm really loving this Cartabella line called Hello Again. This particular uh, page is called Hello Floral. And it has such a nice, rich texture to it. And it almost looks like watercolors, very watered down or something. Really nice background paper, I would say. Look at the little distress there on the edge. And that's kind of pretty in its own rights. Probably nothing I'll use, but who knows? Maybe I will. I bought that before, so I bought another two sheets. This is also gorgeous. Same line. Same thing. Kind of watercolorish. See how it has the little errors? Now, isn't it funny? We will buy paper because it's distressed. But if we get paper home and one thing is wrong with it, like if there's one spot on it, if the corner's bent, we have a, a stroke. But we'll pay for paper that looks like it had tape on it ripped off. Go figure. This is called Hello Chevron. Purdy. More Cartabella. And you can see that's kind of splotchy looking, or maybe it has a name. I don't know if you would consider that ombre or not. Yeah, you would, because it's darker over here and lighter, lighter, lighter as you go up the page. This is called Journaling Cards. Oh, yeah, I like this. This is probably the side I bought it for. Happy, happy. Remember that one time I saw somebody use this. 
and he had to have it. I forget who it was. Look, is it that cute rating? Things we do together. Q and A. I'm sorry, guys. I'm kind of set up weird here today, so I hope you can see everything more distressed, watercolory. Cartabella, and this is called Triangles. Flip side. I like the whole triangle trend going on, but I've just not done anything with it. Well, I must have really liked this because I got two pieces. You can see the change in the coloring. Almost looks kind of a little bit like clouds. Uh, this is called Stripes. Oh, yeah, I like both sides of this. I really like this side. Again, Chamel Lane and the diagonal stripe thing is probably what I was thinking. I bought this before. I'm not crazy about that side. Well, I'm not crazy about either side. Huh, don't know why I got it, but I did and I'll use it. This is called Chit Chat. More Cartabella. And there's the flip side. Oh, I couldn't wait to see this. It looks so cute online. This is called Merry Little Christmas. It is by Fancy Pants. And I thought this would look really cute maybe with some black and white photographs or something that would look vintage-y. Now that I got my holiday paper, I like this side too. Now I can buy Nate's Christmas outfit. This is called Santa's Workshop. You see the distress on the edges. There's some really neat distress right here. Oh, and I like this side. Santa's Workshop. It has all different kinds of toys all the way up. Cute. Same line. And we're almost done. This is called Bobbles. And there's that diagonal background paper. Well, unfortunately, that does it this time around. Okay, so here's my plans. I also bought some Becky Higgins stuff from HSN I want to share with you. More for newbies and people that have not started Project Life. Uh, I'd like to give my two cents to them. And I also want to come back and share the, that ephemera pack that I just got today. I have some layouts I want to share. I've got a couple of racks I want to share with you. And I think there's even something... Oh, the other things that I bought in the past month that I've not done a video on. So, I need to get crack a in here. As always, thanks a bunch, a bunch for watching. Your nice comments. It Does this happen with anyone else? I mean, these comments to me, they really do lift my spirits. I find myself sitting there reading comments, but I find myself just sitting there smiling ear to ear. And I swear, it almost gives me like this boost of energy. It gets me motivated to do more layouts and YouTube. It really does. It's like somebody took a big old shot, stuck it right in my arm, and pow! gave me a big boost of energy and motivation so I really appreciate you taking the time to comment and I really hate myself that I've, I've not been replying back yet or commenting on your videos don't think that it doesn't bother me it does and I will get to you guys I promise sometimes I just have to sit here and think what to do first or what's most important or what do I feel like I can do right now and complete? You guys are pretty great. And I will be back soon. Hope you're having a great day. It's beautiful weather here, about 73 and sunny. Got the windows open and fresh air coming in. So, God willing.
I'll be back in a few. See you soon. Thanks for watching.